Hello everybody, Todd here and I am the curator of thrift and I am at home and because I have not been able to find something I'm looking for, I have decided to make myself a pledge and to my wife because she mentioned something this morning. Um, I have so much stuff that I've collected over the years that it's time for me to spend more time getting that stuff out of here and not going shopping anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a pledge that I am going to keep track of two things. I need to get to a thousand listings. Obviously I'm gonna keep continuing to list, not only on mine, but I need to get to a thousand listings on the secondary channel that, or page that I work on for the friend of mine doing the fishing gear. And then third, I have decided that I need to sell 1,000 items before I can go shopping again. It could be six months, it could be a year. So I just need to get some stuff on, continue to get it on. I'm having trouble because of the fact that when I'm looking for things that I've sold, even though I think I know where they are, I'm not keeping track of if I've moved them. So that's my issue. I do have um, not so much on, and I usually keep it here in the house, but my problem is, is I moved some stuff to the back room, and therefore I didn't keep track of everything that I moved, which I should have done. A lot of the stuff I did take isn't listed yet, so that's no big deal. A lot of it's large items, so I didn't really need to take note of that either. But I did take a bunch of small items out of my third bedroom where I store the listed stuff. And I think I took it over to the back room that I need to get ready to ship. So here's the other thing. I need to reorganize everything in my garage and in this room and everything I have secondary in a guest room or third, um, and in my office, I need to clean everything up, get it all put together. I need to readdress how I have my shelving in there. Um, cause I have it all along one wall, which I can show here. So with everything, I have technically two shelves where these shelves are added in. I want to take all of that apart cause I do have more poles to separate it. And I need to do the same thing with the black shelving over here. I don't have extra poles for that. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is possibly use the shelving on some Chrome. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but my idea is because these are two, three footers and this is a four foot in the center. I think what I'm going to do is take and make one four footer and one three footer where the shelves aren't so tall because down there, which is hard to see, I have a ton of coffee mugs and so I can separate that and then I can separate all this. And what I want to do, and I think I mentioned it before, I want everything off on a side turned this way instead of this way. So turning it this way, I'll be able to wheel it out pull it out, wheel it back in. So I'm going to take this whole side and continue to use it just for my shelving. But I need to get all of this out of here, which a lot of that is Ford parts. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. So with all of this stuff I have here, I need to totally tear everything apart, pull everything out and get everything 100% reorganized. Cause for one, I have these two black cabinets I got full of, like this one here is full of um, brewer, Bruriana, mostly pint glasses and other types of glassware from breweries that I've attended or not really attended, but I started collecting it. So I have that. And then in the other one, I have my, um, my brain's not working. I have my growler growler bottles, which I'm going to start getting rid of those. I started picking those up from thrift stores too for cheap because I'd pick them up for a buck or two. I'm going to go through everything in there and get that out of, out of there, reorganized, so I can get rid of these two black cabinets because I don't really need them. 
I mean, I, I got plenty of other cabinetry in here. And then other things like I need to get another toolbox to add tools to so that I can get better things organized and find them. So my goal is I have not been able to find a lot of stuff in my garage because I honestly have way too much. So I need to concentrate on getting it all reorganized and only on one section and then everything noted. So, cause, so for one thing, like right here, I have everything to the height of the box. And then I have extra space here. So my problem is, is why do I have that space when I can push everything up and be able to, well, I don't know, I'll figure that out. Um, I could either add a small shelf in there. I'm not sure I might, which I might be able to do with these center section here. Got the center section here. I can take the shelving out, add another shelf there and just use like my coffee mug totes because they're under bed totes and I can stick one of those or two of those in there and be able to make it easier to pull them in and out. So I got to get all this figured out. I need to figure out where to put all of these pictures and stuff. So I'm thinking I have a bunch of framed pictures here, artwork, pictures, and everything. I'm figuring if I do everything on this side the way I want to, then I can line up those in a different section. But I also have in the back room that counter that I need to bring here for storage and a workbench or workspace so that I can possibly do more work out here in the garage. Especially to keep it from wheel. It's too hot out here in the summer, so I don't really do that. But on top of that, it actually has shelving. So I'll be able to have shelving on both sides of it. Anyway, I've got a lot to do. Sorry, I had to switch. Um, I have a lot of stuff I need to do. But my problem is I need to concentrate on getting stuff on. But if I get it on, I don't have anywhere to keep it stored other than in the house. Which I want to clear it all out. I just want my one room to have nothing but my CD collection, record collection, and maybe the dresser out of my office because I can possibly use that for other stuff. Um, so I need to get, but yeah, I got a lot of ideas, but I'm not able to get moved forward on it because my sales aren't up enough. And like a dumbass, I keep buying more stuff. So that is why I need to give myself or am giving myself the pledge to no longer buy anything for the next 1,000 sales. Once I get, which I have probably 10,000 items here. So I know if I get everything out of here, reorganized and start literally going shelf by shelf, just like I'm doing in the back room of the store, shelf by shelf and getting everything listed, I will be able to get through it in a better more efficient manner and like I've got I mean look at these totes 90% of that's Hawaiian shirts and dresses um, I've got other shirts in there too but I've got you know boxes of Bruriana shirts and concert t-shirts automotive shirts and Harley Davidson shirts and all I need to get everything torn out and readdressed so that all the bigger stuff can be put in a different spot, like in the back room of the store, so that that continues to com just be big, bulky items. And here is nothing but smalls and boxes and totes. And with that, I am done rambling on. So please, if anybody is watching this video, will please give me some encouragement by commenting below what you're dealing with. I mean, this isn't a death pile. This is a Mount Vesuvius, but... I don't consider it hoarding. I consider it my retirement investment, but it is what it is. It's a lot of product that is just sitting here and I need to clean it up again and go from there. So I'm taking this pledge that I will no longer buy anything from any thrift yard sale or any other thing. I might go to record stores, but that's a different story. It'll only be for me to buy personal only for my collection. So nothing for resale anymore, nothing thrifted for me, even for me personally, I will not be going to thrift stores. I will not be going to, yard. I don't go to yard sales or garage sales much anyway. It's been a long time since I've been to one. So that is the goal. 100% no more. 
until I get 1,000 things sold. So hopefully by then I will have three or 4,000 things listed and have 1,000 sales. So, And one other reason why I need to make this pledge is because I have two vacations coming up. One uh, just after Thanksgiving week. And then I have another one the last two weeks of April. So that is another reason I need to push my sales up higher so that I can pay off my credit card and have plenty of money to play with on a vacation. But other than that, that is it, everybody. Comment below and help me and encourage me with everything that you think you should address me with on this on how to do it. Because the more I get help from others in the community, honestly, the better I'll feel about it. So I just need to do it. And I'm going to do it. And with that, please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate those that have watched the video so far. I know this is a little lengthy, but I'm just trying to get all the information out there. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. And that is it. I know I usually say happy hunting, but until then, keep everything in